In this video, we're going to be talking about list dividers. Now, list dividers is a nice way to take content and separate them into different sections, but also to use something like a navigation. So if you think of uh, mail, for example, um, inside of an iOS application, the, the mail application, once you open it, you actually see a list view, and that list view shows you the different emails that are available. When you select on one of those emails, it actually takes you to the email with the actual content. Um, and so that's the same type of thing inside of jQuery mobile. When you select on an item, it'll take you to that page and it'll have more content about whatever that item may have been labeled. And you can do different things. You can add list dividers, you can have sections and uh, different content inside of your list divider. So we're going to explore how to use list dividers and then that way you can use that inside of your content. You can place it pretty much anywhere inside of any page and use this to divide maybe just a list of, let's say you're, you're organizing fruit, for example, and you want fruit se separated into different sections and then when they tap on a certain fruit like apple, then it will take them to an explanation and a page about that apple. That That's the the real power of a list divider and uh, it's really easy to set up inside of jQuery mobile. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start inside of the content area and so actually before we do that let's take a, a look at some examples here. So we have list here inside of the download files that you can download inside of the project here. We have a read only or unordered list and so that way it, it's just basically it's not clickable in this case it's just a, a list item. Um, this does automatically adapt to the screen size and then here, a read ordered order read only ordered list has just one, two, three, and it, it numbers them automatically. Well, a linked list will have um, the ability. It's the same text here, but it'll have the ability to link to certain pages. Now, if I set an inset here, then it actually takes instead of filling the content 100%, it takes it and it insets it, and it makes adds a little drop shadow around that list item. Well, I can then add a filter to it. So if I start typing in, let's say list item two, then it will only bring up, it automatically filters it out and only brings up list item two. I can exit that out, hit done, and now I can come in and uh, see other items. So I can see, okay, here's an, another filter example, but here's a filter reveal where I don't see any content until I actually start typing. And now once I start typing, actually, let me just go ahead and just type in, for example, two then it shows whatever content is in there. So if you don't want to list out you know, all 100 plus different list items, you want them to be able to search, you can do that as well. Uh, list dividers will actually add a divider so you can separate these into sections like I talked about before. If you have fruit um, or vegetables, you can have one section as fruit, the other section as vegetables and list all those items inside of there. Um, <clears throat> now the list dividers can also still have the filter item. So if you wanted to have a filter, you can do that as well. Another list item is the count bubbles. Now the count bubbles will will be right next to your arrow icon um, and you can pretty much establish this as whatever number you want. And then you can have different types of icons. So instead of just the arrow over, you can also add the data icon of delete, gear, info button if you wanted this to be an info as well. And then you can have your own custom icon, which you'd have to apply your CSS for uh, that custom icon and define what image you want. Um, and then you can have other icons that show up on the left hand side and even thumbnails that have a bigger image uh, formatted content as well where you can have even more defined elements so you can see in this case we have a defined element here with a little bubble we have more description text with our thumbnails we also have uh, some text aside is what it's called uh, and go from there and then you can add list items within um, a collapsible, which in this case, it only shows once I tap on it. And once I tap on that, it collapses open. And then I can filter it out still and then have different list items that I can go to right inside of that collapsible. So these are all different elements that you can build inside of jQuery mobile. So let's explore how to actually build those. So I have my HTML file open up and it just has a header here. It has no content inside of there whatsoever yet. So we're going to go ahead and let's just start out with an unordered list, which is a typical HTML uh, type of way of listing out content. So I'm going to go ahead and inside of that unordered list, I'm going to add a couple list items. So I'm going to say list item, uh, let's say item one. And just for uh, time sake, I'm going to copy that and paste it a couple times. And then I'm going to change to and I'm going to change this 
to three. And so the only other thing I need to do to the unordered list is go ahead and add a data dash row equals, and then within quotes, I'm actually going to call this list view. I'm going to assign this div tag as a list view. So now if I hit control enter, you'll notice it automatically um, has my list view, but it's not a link to list view as of right now. If I wanted to change this from an unordered list to an ordered list, all I have to do is say, instead of UL, I just say OL, and that automatically numbers my list items. Typically, if you don't want the, the numbers there, you just keep it as an unordered list. And so it's just as simple as changing those two, those two items there. Now, if I wanted these list items to be an actual link item where they click on it and it takes them to a different page, well, all I have to do is add an href tag. Um, and I add that href tag around the actual text. I keep it inside of the list items. But now I have this href, and so I'm going to just add um, a pound sign because I don't know exactly what page it's going to go to yet. So I'm going to hit save, and I'm not going to or copy that, and I'm going to paste that item and the end tag as well around the other list view items here. And now if I preview this, you see it automatically, as soon as it's a list view and it's a linked tag, it automatically adds this arrow for me. And then I can take this and I can link to other pages. Let's go ahead and just create a simple page. I'm going to copy this page and I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Let's get rid of our content area. And then I'm going to name this page two. I have in the content area page two. And I need to give it a different ID, which in this case is going to be page two. Well, from list item number one, right after the hashtag, I'm just going to type in the page ID, which is going to be page two. Now, if I hit refresh and then click on actually, yep, there's page two. And it's if I click on item number one, well, if I click on item number one, it takes me to page two. So that's how simple it is. If you have multiple pages, if I created another page, let's go ahead and name this one page three ID. And we're going to name the contents. We're going to change that to a three as well. And then come up to our list item and say, okay, now you link to page three. So there we go. Hit save. Let's go back here. Um, preview or refresh that. And now if I hit item two, there it is. It takes me to page three. Come back, hit item one. It takes me to page two. And that way the list view uses as, or it's uh, used kind of like a menu. Um, and a way to get to other pages.